everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are back with the MacBook today because I wanted to do a little bit more with its USB-C port now that we're seeing cheaper cables hit the marketplace. So an Amazon seller, uh, who will be linked in the description below, sent along uh, two USB-C to USB 3.0 cables that cost about 10 bucks a piece. So a lot less expensive than the $79 infamous dongle that I had to buy along with my MacBook. And I just wanted to see some of the things we might be able to do uh, with this port. Now what's neat about USB Type-C is it's a little bit faster than USB 3, but it also is very flexible about uh, the types of power that you can transmit over it. So the MacBook's typical power adapter is 29 watts, so a lot more than what regular USB can handle, which usually tops out around 10 and a half watts or so, uh, but it will be capable of running those lower voltages also. So we've got here is a 15,000 milliamp hour battery from uh, Max Boost, I believe. And this is what I would normally uh, like take with me on a trip or something to charge my hotspot and my uh, iPad and other things. And it's got two different output options. It has a 2.1 amp circuit and a one amp circuit for plugging in just like a cell phone or something. So I'm gonna plug the MacBook into the two amp circuit here and it should actually start charging off this battery. Uh, and I think it is. Let's take a look at our little battery health meter here and you can see it's charging currently uh, with 4.7 watts and I'm assuming that is the difference between uh, what the computer is currently consuming uh, versus what it is able to grab, uh, you know, kind of in surplus for charging. Now, this is going to work best when the computer is off, at least from a charging standpoint, because this is not enough power, at least as compared to the standard wall adapter that you would get with this to really use it and not lose any battery life in the process. But uh, if you were running around in a city somewhere and just wanted to plug in your laptop while it was on standby or off, uh, you will get a decent charge out of this thing. This does have a lot of capacity and you'll be able to uh, keep your battery charged while you're not using it. So that's probably the best use case, uh, but you'll also pick up some charge even while it's on and sitting idle because it's not doing all that much. And these uh, Core M processors in these devices really don't consume all that much power. So I think it's really cool that I can now carry a single battery pack with me that can charge all the devices that I typically travel with without having to get a separate battery uh, that can handle the MacBook. So that's one of the nice flexible uh, features now of the USB-C protocol. Now USB-C is the next iteration of USB, so it is backwards compatible just like all generations of USB have been. So I got another cable from that same seller, another $10 cable, a female connector on this end, a standard female connector, and a USB Type-C on this end. And what we can do is take out my little memory stick here that I use in the car. I got some lossless audio files that I store on here. Uh, pop that in there like so, uh, connect it to my computer, and we should see this thing mounting as a standard USB drive on our MacBook here, and there it is. So now we can get access to those files uh, just like we would if we plugged it into a regular uh, USB port. There's no fancy circuitry in this cable. Again, it's a $10 cable, so uh, you can see really the flexibility of the format. Uh, and there's some hope here that we're going to get away from finally having to buy these $80 adapters from Apple. I'm waiting for the uh, DisplayPort version of one of these cheap cables to come out because uh, right now your best option for Apple unfortunately is this $80 HDMI adapter but there's no reason why somebody couldn't make a cheap cable like this and get the same result out of it so uh, we're getting there but it's good to see this uh, starting to get out there and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more USB-C devices coming out very soon which means that uh, this kind of flexibility is going to come to uh, Windows devices as well as devices that run Linux and maybe even Android too so a lot of cool stuff on the horizon and I'm very excited about USB-C especially because because of its flexibility for charging. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.